Hey y'all, happy Thanksgiving. I'm not gonna vlog a whole lot today, but um, me and Ari just took some Thanksgiving pictures and now we're about to get ready to eat. I wanted to get her to take pictures and stuff before she actually started like being a kid, you know, messing up her hair and everything and not caring about anything. So, um, what? You're not gonna look at the camera today, you mad? You mad? What you mad about? Nan, say hey, hey, can you count to ten? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Can you say eyes? Eyes, ears, nose, mouth. How old are you? Two. Two? Yay! A, B, C, D. How old are you? Two. Good job! Yay! All right, I gotta put you down so we can eat. Stuff on your mouth. All right, let's get the food. We got ham, macaroni and cheese. dressing. Look, she be ready, child. You ready to learn? Mm. Ooh. Mm. School. Did you just say school? I don't know how we're gonna do this, y'all. Can you take your purse off? Good job. Zero. Six. Five. Good. Seven. Good. Nine. Three. Good job. Yay, Ari. So now we're going to do shapes. Are you ready to do shapes? Let's take the shapes out the puzzle. Circle. Triangle. Good. Diamond. Diamond. Good job. We got an empty board. A. B. Good job. B. C. 
Good. D. Good. E. Good. F. Good. Yay! Good job, Ari! We got three choices. Which one do you want to read? Okay, well that one it is. You open the page. Count your blessings. The world is such an awesome place, says Bob. God made it all. We see his blessings all around. Let's count them. You getting sleepy? All right, we're almost done. Can you count to 10 for them? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yay! How old are you? Two. Two? Good job! session all right so I got one of the trees up this one is the queen flock I don't really like this like I like the leaves on it but like as far as the shape I don't like it so I'm gonna go ahead and keep it because I've had it for longer than 30 days but next year It'll probably be a tree that I put like in the dining room or something like that because it's a little too slim for me. I just don't like that. And then, of course, you guys already know this is, is the Flock King tree. I like this one a lot better. This is just a 10 feet. I wish I could get the 15, but honestly, I don't know who would go up that high to fluff it out and decorate it. So I'm just going to stick with this one. to finish my trees at least complete one tree tonight i was thinking like once everything is down here i'll be good to go but in all honesty <laughs> i'm not so i'm trying to get the christmas tree at least the santa tree done um the tree in the living room i'm going to go ahead and put the ribbon on that tonight and then i'm going to finish off the ornaments and stuff tomorrow i just decided to like redo that entire um tree and i found some ribbons pretty early um 
in the season right now because you guys know like with December come everything is off the shelf and of course because everything is stuck in the ocean right now girl a lot of stuff just ain't gonna happen this year real quick I'm gonna just show you guys what I do or how I tuck how I tucked the ribbons into that tree is real simple, real easy. There are several different ways that you can do your ribbons. It's totally up to you. There's no right or wrong way, honestly. So I'm going to use two ribbons, same feet, the same inches, like everything is pretty much the same. I picked these up from Michael's. They was on 40% uh, off. I think I'm gonna cut like right there. And it probably would be good to have some fabric scissors, but child, whatever, girl. It's going to be tucked inside the tree. Ain't nobody going to see it. It ain't that deep. So when it's like this, you can actually have more control over how much ribbon is actually exposed so that you're not fiddling with it all night. And so when you have a wire ribbon, like I said, it just helps keep the shape. <clears throat> what I like to do is just kind of stand back a little bit and see where I want to place a ribbon. I'm gonna see if I can hold the camera. Okay. So here's the spot. And I'm just going to tuck it. Now some people wrap theirs around their branches, but girl, I don't have time for that. So what you do is you just tuck it. It's sorry y'all, it's kind of hard to do with one hand. But you see how that just goes in there? And it's perfect. Can you stand up so they can see your little outfit? Huh? I don't know why it has a glare. I can't. I can't. Hmm. Breakfast this morning. Hey. Hey. Huh? Hmm? Yeah, gonna eat your cereal. So in the morning time, we watch more learning phrases, like as far as getting her to talk, doing her ABCs, one, two, threes. Um, and then let's see, what do you want to watch today? So we like the rock and learn. Of course, we like Elmo. Which one are we going to do today? We'll do this one again. Mama. Mama. I have no organization in my life right now at all. Whenever I feel like I'm getting organized and I feel like I have accomplished things, girl, no. The next day comes and it's like, girl, where's the routine that you had in place yesterday? So, so um, I'm going to try to be a lot more transparent with these vlogs because I want you guys to really see the reality of a stay at home mom slash an entrepreneur slash a mamapreneur slash a teacher slash a wife slash a daughter uh, like girl i wear so many hats and it gets so overwhelming um and i just want to be as transparent with you guys and just open and um let you guys like really see what it's like behind the scenes Okay, so child, let me tell you, let me tell you, look at my office. This is my goddamn office. <laughs> like, how in the world will anybody feel productive with their office looking like this? We got Ari's playpen, because I don't want it in the living room, but when it's time for her to take her nap, she likes to take her nap in the playpen. <laughs> look at my desk. Got a brand new brand new iphone 13 as you can see look at the purses now these are not purses that i'm shipping off these are all of ari's purses so like ari has like her own <clears throat> purses that you know i let her play with she wear like i just really try to get the quality of the purses and just see how long they can withstand you know from a toddler and then we got the elf over here 
We got more purses over here. <laughs> oh God, then we got stuff from the living room over there. Just look at my office, y'all. Then we got a bar over here. Child, let me tell you something. Y'all, the grilled cheese sandwiches be so good. Um, their fries, honestly, their fries is not as good as they used to be. I don't know what they've done, but they're not all that no more.